we need to stop the Joker. And to do that, we need to find a way to overcome the device he's wielding. Find Barozar and make sure that crazy mage provides you with something we can use to save Lord Vivek. Can we be certain that the staff is required to save Lord Vivek? Is the bull sure it can bed the Betty? No. But by all accounts, we'll be better off with Sunara in our hands and away from Chortla. That won't be possible, however, as long as the Ashlander remains impervious to every attack. Why don't you trust Saren? The female Ashlander? Well, if that wasn't enough of a reason, remember that she's also Chodala's sister. Blood sings to blood, as the warrior poet so elegantly put it. Be wary of that one, Outlander. She'll stab you in the back. Mark my words. So much distaste for that Ashlander, huh? Why does Vivek's condition threaten Vardenfell? Vivek loves this land. And the land loves him in return. He's always had a special bond with Vardenfell. Is it so hard to believe that Red Mountain reflects his suffering? Beyond that, there's also Bardal, the moonlit that floats above us. So the moonlit has a name now, huh? Lord Vivek's intervention stopped the moonlit from crashing into the city. He holds it above us by strength of will. But as he weakens, so too does the power that keeps the rock afloat. If Vivek's energy wanes further, it would spell disaster. Now we'll go back to quote-unquote the crazy mage's tower. Let's see what he has to say. Now I'm curious about this Sotha Seal guy. We haven't seen him at all. And it seems that no one else will help Vivek but us, really. Or no one else can, for that matter. Is someone up there? I could use some help down here. Wait, where's barrels are? Hurry, please. Rescue? I have a natural aversion to Daedra. Well, okay then. Ouch, ouch. Whoa, these Daedra are pretty... Aggressive. I think they're more aggressive than Trotula's army of soldiers. Oh gosh. Oh shoot. You've got to be kidding me. You know what, guys? I detest this hunger because what it does is it gets our life to replenish its own life. So it's like a vampire. I mean,. Based from the name itself, you can deduce that it's very hungry for blood. Look at that. Savage. And it's really hard to beat. This hunger already appeared in a lot of dungeons over here in Bardenfell for the side quest missions. Oh! Oh! Get away from us, you ugly looking mutant! Whoa! That's pretty good. I'm just checking out these bookshelves because we can get additional skills or skill point increases from it. to concentrate and maintain schedules when interruptions constantly occur. Don't they know the great gear never pauses in its rotations? So that was you up there. I appreciate the assistance. Daedric entities can be very unpredictable. Why were Daedra attacking you, Barrel Czar? Logic has very little place in the behavior of Daedra, my hopeful associate. 
Studying the fabric of reality does tend to attract unwanted attention. But these creatures appeared just before you entered my tower. I wonder, why have you returned? I located Sotha Seal's tool, but it's been altered to steal Lord Vivek's divine energy. Ah, a modification of my master's old experiments. Turning a simple tool into a dangerous weapon. Ingenious! Evil, yes, but also quite brilliant. Hmm. A tonal inverter should counter it. it. Uses sound waves to temporarily disrupt the flow of energy. Do you have a tonal inverter I can use? No, of course not. I just invented it. I need proper components to build such a device. My hirelings scour the land for materials all the time. Here's a list. Head out the back door and ask them to direct you to these common dwarven components. Where can I find these hirelings of yours? Hirelings? Yes, they worked for me, before they quit, ungrateful netches. Still, I paid them well before the pistons slipped their alignments. They should know where to find the components. Last I heard, Snorfin and the others were in Molagmar. Do you think the Daedra will return to trouble you? The situation has wound dangerously tight, but I believe the gears revolve around you. Once you leave, I should be perfectly safe. Or at least as safe as I ever am in the midst of all these experiments. You, however, stay vigilant, my friend. Can you tell me more about these components you need me to find? I could, but I won't pour five-year-old Flynn into a cracked decanter. No offense. Suffice it to say, they're fairly common as far as Dwemer components go. Use the list and talk to my former hirelings. I'll build the device the moment you return. Well, okay then. Talk to a lot of people. So where should we go? Are they all there? You mean to tell me they're all just clumped in one area? Is this one of the NPCs we have to talk to? Oh no, it's this one. Snorfin! I feel like such a puny snowback hiding here in Molagmar. But you don't want to hear about my troubles. What can this broken Nord do for you? Barrelzar sent me to talk to you. He said you could help me find the items on this list. Barrelzar? He's the reason I'm a shattered man, doomed to become a cowering sheep like the rest of these pilgrims. Ugh, all right, let me see that. Hmm, Arkenthung Sturdoms. You can find a Sonin's generator there, after you deal with the steam trap. I can't even pronounce that. Okay, why is he helping Barrelzar if Barrelzar is the reason why he's a shattered man? What's that about a steam trap? The cursed contraption. I almost had it figured out when a ghost floated up to me. No problem, I think. But then it enters a centurion. Ghost machines. No sane Nord can fight ghost machines. I dropped my notes and ran as fast as I could. You left your notes in blank because of a few ghosts? Not just ghosts. Ghosts that possess dwarven machines. I'm through working for that crazy old mage and his clockwork monstrosities. But if you want to get past the steam trap, Find my notes and follow the directions. Sure, thanks for that, dude. I hope you you heal up soon. If you're another pilgrim looking for charity, I suggest you move along. I have neither the time to waste nor the gold to spare. I'm currently between employment, and my own funds have become dangerously depleted. Barrelzar sent me to talk to you. I need to find the items on this list. Let me see that. What's that crazy mage need this time? Hmm. I suppose you could find a manual clockwork shaft in the Nichu left ruins. But I'd avoid that place if I were you. If the roof doesn't collapse, the constructs will rip you apart. Barrelzar needs it to build something important, so tell me how to find the manual clockwork shaft. If you insist. Deep in the ruins churns a big machine. When I was there, it sputtered and vibrated, collapsing parts of the ceiling. Lava and rock fell everywhere. You need to get past that and some nasty constructs to retrieve the item. Why don't you work for Barrelzar anymore? That mage is a menace. 
Oh, he always paid well, but the places he asked me to go, each was more dangerous than the last. And if I had to hear about the great gear one more time, for my own health and sanity, I had to break ties with Barrels R. Okay, so maybe that's why he's being called a crazy mage, because he's endangering the lives of his employees. I've always wondered. <laughs> Damned vampires. I'll find a way to make them pay for what they did to my brother. I swear it on the tribunal and any Daedra willing enough to listen. What do you want? Can't you leave a person to her anger and her grief? Barrelzar said you could help me locate the items on this list. He did, did he? Let me see that list. Hmm. Well, the crazy old Why mage always said there were no coincidences. So the inversion conduit. I saw one in the lone days, so right before I barely escaped from those damned vampires. Tell me about these damned vampires. Eager to become cattle for the bloodsuckers? The Burn Clan killed my brother. Damn their eyes! The item you seek was in the manufactory, but you'll need a control rod to get a dwarven spider to unlock it for you. Why did you stop working with Barrelzar? Because the mage wanted to send me to the far side of Baldenfell, and I need to remain here. I'm not going anywhere until I make the Burn Clan pay for what it did to my brother. If you can kill some of the bastards, that'll be a start. We'll probably encounter some of those vampires as we get these items. Now, after we go downstairs, let's see how far this place is. Maybe your small mind what? can understand if I speak slowly. I'm here to now Darn it. Scum. I don't know how we got that bounty. I don't recall us talking to any... any criminals. Weird. Okay, let's check out the map. What is in the middle over here? Okay, it's surrounding the Red Mountain, basically, and it's in the far areas of the map. We can just go... okay, we can go here, then the north, and then west. Okie dokie. Is very far away. Find Valrina's notes. Okay, let's try to rush through this dungeon. Oh no! Okay, this is quite critical for us to do because we're going to be surrounded by hordes of vampires. And actually, the reason why I wanted to rush through this is we're going to encounter them anyway when we go out. So might as well try to evade as much as we can. Oh, Kidoki. No! We weren't able to get out because... because of this dwarven centurion and the rest of the vampires, but... Lucky for us, the vampires went back to their proper places. Oh, poor bear. After getting summoned and immediately gets attacked. Now let's try to read the notes. Oh, this is the note. They call themselves the Burn Clan. The bastards! They got my brother, but they didn't get me. I've been watching from the shadows as these fiends feast. Some of these horrors are nothing more than beasts devouring the lifeblood of everyone they find. But some are curious creatures, curious about the constructs that still inhabit Gallum Deus. I noticed a particular pair working with the dwarven spiders, collecting control rods from some to use on others. Whatever the device is, it doesn't appear to be functioning correctly. They gestured at a mechanical spider and the creature came to life, but it didn't always work as intended. 
Sometimes a controlled spider wanders off on its own, other times it attacks. I think we're trying to get it to unlock a component cache in the manufactory. I'm sure Barrelzar would want the component in the cache if I could get hold of it. But the vampires are too strong for me to deal with. Poor Volrina. It's a good thing she's aware and decided not to work for Barrelzar anymore. Won't give me its treasure, dear brother. Allow me, my sister. This should open the miserable construct like a ripe fruit. Well, that killed them. Use control rod on spiders. Where? Okay, so we just approach each of these spiders and just literally use it on them. Meanwhile, none of the none of the vampires on the sides notice us, so that's good. Let's get this. Nice. Yep, we can probably get out of here. Let's just try to speed our way through the exit. Oops, can we fit here? Yes, we can. But there's a high probability now that they can chase us up to the door. Oh no, I made a mistake! Ah! Indeed. My stamina is so low. I can't even break free from crowd control right now. Oh no! No! We can do this! Oh! We're probably going to have to fight with some of the vampires. Yep. Oh, look at it. Just this one. Nope. Too scared for us, huh? Cowards. Now we shall go. Which part of the map we go super north or we can just Actually, let's just use the way shrine. That's faster instead of riding our horse. Look at this place. It looks like Dante's Inferno. Like probably the first string. Oh. Okay, luckily that did not kill us. Nope, not again. I made the mistake before of swimming through the lava with my Dragonite, which then killed me after five seconds. Yeah, go away. Oh, thank goodness. Chris Marigold, hey! From Witcher, huh? Anyway, since this is a Dell, we can finish this dungeon by ourselves. Let's try and beat the boss and get the Sky Shard. Oh no! I don't think my stamina is enough to break from the crowd control. Hmm, where could those components be?
Like before. Oh, oh. No. Let's just run past them. Oh, no. Okay, this is the wrong route. Can you jump there? Okay, we're alive. We're alive, you guys. This place is very dangerous, needless to say. Barrelzar's past employees would have died from going- Oh my gosh! Through here, look at that! We almost died ourselves! Oh no! Ow! Why can't we use that? We're being hit from above. Do I still want to try and look for the boss? Doesn't seem to be a good thing to do right now. Especially since we're pressed for time to get all of these items. Barrels are needs. You know what? Let's just get out of here. At least we got the sky shard. Where do we go next? So as you can see, guys, in the map, the delve is still color black because we haven't defeated the boss. After we defeat it, it will turn into a color white, which means we have completed it. Now, let's go here. We'll just travel via Way Shrine again. This is the last one. I hope Barrelzar is not kidding us of getting rid of the staff or weakening it. Finally, we're here in the place which we can't pronounce. Snorfin's notes. All right, I'm pretty sure that there's a component that crazy Barrelzar wants in the locked dwarven chest in the center of Blank's final chamber. The active furnace vents are a problem, though. Every time I try to get close to the chest, the fire burns and keeps me back. Looks like I need to figure out how to close the furnace release vents. Now, if those damn constructs and the damn ghosts will leave me alone for a few moments, I should be able to work this out. Seems to be three valve controls connected to the vents. Should be simple enough to use the valves to close the vent so I can open the chest. Okie dokie, should be simple enough indeed. Are those growths inside the dungeon? I'm not sure if there were plant growths in the previous dungeons. But anyway, I just find that pretty strange. Oh, oh, they're all gearing up to kill us, you guys. Yeah, this is the vents in the notes. Oh, shoot, that shocked me. It really followed us over here. <laughs> I think I just have to deactivate all three vents and then we're good. But first, we kill this Centurion. Yeah, go attack the machine to help us out. Whoops. I like that our bear is pretty resilient. I guess it serves its purpose by being a semi tank. Nice. That's pretty easy. We got it. We got everything. Okay, guys, we're going to go back. 
Now, I've always wondered, why are there no dwarves in Elder Scrolls Online? Even in Skyrim, right? How did they die? Denansi told me that they were the ones who created these dungeons and these Dwemer spiders and everything. I can only guess that they were probably killed by their own creations, but how? Is that like a metaphor for AI taking over the world in real life? We can just go back to this way shrine and then teleport here and go to Barrelzar. Okay. Have you only just arrived or is this you returning? I can't always keep the cogs and pistons in line. Ah, I remember. The components for the tonal inverter. Were you able to acquire them? Yes, I recovered the sonance generator, the inversion conduit, and the manual clockwork shaft. Impressive. I thought I'd never see you again. That's what usually happens when I employ hirelings to acquire rare and exotic <laughs> items from dangerous locations. Well, the great gear doesn't dawdle, neither do I. Hand them over and I'll get to work. Here are the items you requested. He just said these sentences with a straight face. I mean... Crazy mage indeed. Get the tonal inverter. One tonal inverter coming up. Connect this Titan spring. Don't explode. <sighs> Almost done. There. Phew. Got it right. Do you like it, my latest creation? I call it the Tonal Inverter. Did I mention that already? No matter. It should counteract Sotha Seal's modified staff. At least, momentarily. I assume you know how to use this, correct? No, I don't know how to use the Tonal Inverter. Of course you don't. I just invented it. Honestly. You won't use it anyway, not if you plan to fight the one who wields Sotha Seal's staff. Almost impossible to operate the Tonal Inverter while also engaged in battle. It's too cumbersome. How do I use it to counter Sunara? Sunara? The Blessed Staff? I suppose the name fits. Sort of. You'll need someone to assist you. Someone you trust. Oh, not me. Too busy. Too fragile. But using the tonal inverter is definitely a two-person activity. Is it hard to use? Easy as scrib jelly pie. One person operates the controls to generate the sound waves. When it reaches the proper pitch, you activate the inverter and discharge its energy to disrupt Sunara's power. Temporarily. Here, I read you instructions. Well, thanks, Barrelzar. I hope this will be the last time I get to see you. I don't want to go to any dangerous places anymore. Okay, so we're not going back to the temple instead. We'll go in the office. Your presence defiles the city, Ashlander. Wow. How dare you demand to see our god? I'm here to help. If you won't listen to me, listen to the Outlander. He was planning to have her killed? Thank the three. The Outlander has returned. Was Barrelzau able to help us? Intense. Pay no attention to this Ashlander. She's been blathering on about Lord Vivek's condition and how she can help, but I'm certain it's a trick of some sort. I was just about to have her thrown out of the city, or possibly tossed to the slaughterfish. That's Sarin, Chodla's sister. She helped me in Aldruin. I know who she is. I still don't trust her, and I refuse to let her anywhere near Lord Vivek. Who knows what an Ashlander would do while the warrior poet is in such a fragile state? I need her help. It's going to take two of us to operate Barrelzar's tonal inverter. A tonal what now? Well, since I can't go with you, what with Lord Vivek requiring my undivided attention, I suppose we'll have to let the Ashlander assist you. Very well. Take her and defeat Chodala. Then bring me a staff so we can restore Vivek. Sooner I will soon be in our hands. Is 
If that old idiot is what passes for a tribunal leader, it's no wonder the houses are in such disarray. No time to dwell on that, though. I found my brother, and it's worse than I feared. Chodala's quest for power has led him down a dark path. What do you mean? Chodala and his most loyal followers have taken refuge in a ruin called Kaush Terari. It's an ancient shrine devoted to the Daedric Prince Malakath. I think my brother plans to ask the God of Curses to help him. I've got a device that will counter Sunara, but I need your help to use it. It will allow us to stop Chodala? Then of course I'll help you. Since the Tribunal's dogs took my weapons, I'll need to replace them. Meet me at the ruins when you're ready. I'll see you there. That was very mean of the Arch Cannon to do. I mean, how can Serene even try to attempt to kill Vivek with all of his guards, right? Okay, let's use this way shrine. Hey! Here we are, on the Furious One's bloody doorstep, preparing to enter a Daedric Ruin to try to stop my brother's march toward power. I hope that device you mentioned really can counter the invulnerability granted by the staff, sooner. Or. I hope so too. Take this, it's a tonal inverter. It should disrupt the staff's power for a short amount of time. Well, that's larger than I expected. But it looks simple enough to operate. I suppose it's better that I work the device. I'm not sure I'm capable of attacking Chodala. He's still my brother, no matter how dangerous his beliefs have become. Take a look at these instructions. They explain how to use the tonal inverter. I'll help you counter the effects of Sunara. Maybe once we neutralize it, Chodala will listen to reason. I know that's probably just wishful thinking. I'll settle for finding out who tempted Chodala with that dumb stuff. Maybe you can clarify a few points before we head inside. Go ahead. Ask your questions. Then head into the ruins. I'll be right behind you. Why would Chodla ask refuge in a Daedric shrine? The tribes rejected him. Azura set her face against him. Now Chodla is seeking aid wherever he can find it. That makes him more desperate than I imagined, and more dangerous. Why he decided to solicit Malakath, the god of curses, I have no idea. Tell me more about Malakath. Malakath's an evil god, the Daedric prince of curses and broken promises. Perhaps that's why Chodala has sought him out. The prophecy of the Nereverine was Chodala's to fulfill before it was wrenched away from him. Could Malakath be involved in what's happening to Vivek? Perhaps, but I don't think so. The Oathbreaker prefers a more direct approach. He isn't one to hide behind convoluted schemes and plots. Still, if Malakath agrees to support my brother, we'll have one more problem to deal with. I saw you and the Arch Cannon arguing back in Vivek City. Why have you agreed to help us? It's true, I have no love of the Tribunal. I also have no stomach for a war between my people and the Great Houses. Too much blood would be spilled to no good end. Even Azura proclaims that my brother must be stopped. I'll help you in any way I can. I'm so thankful for Serene that she's a sensible sister instead of... Instead of following the footsteps of her brother. Ooh, defeat Chodla. Thank you for taunting our enemy. Over there, those red exiles. They've been slaughtered. Chodala, well, he's gone mad. Sought to make a deal with a Daedric prince. Oh no, what happened here? Chodala appealed to Malakath, but the god of curses rebuked him. He killed us all. Said Chodala already served another. Where can we find Chodala? He went deeper into the ruins. It's a Malakath shrine. Oh dear. I thought that was about it. 
I mean, I thought we'll see Chola immediately. But this dungeon is deeper. Wait, there's another one? Oh no! Oops. These creatures, they don't belong to Malakath. Another prince's power is at work here. You mean two Daedras? You dare refuse me, Malakath. I am the Nerevari. Chodala, brother, stop this madness. You bring this outlander to kill me, sister? You can't harm me. I have a powerful patron on my side. The staff protects him. You can't hurt him until we use the tonal inverter. I need a moment to get this working. So, does that mean we have to survive his attacks? What is that? No matter. You are no longer worth my time. Who is that? Is that Malika? He looks like a devil. They serve the Prince of Bargains. Keep them busy while I finish this. Sure, why don't you take your sweet time, Serene? That's pretty easy. The tonal inverter is ready. Stand in the field and focus the wave. Oh, wait. Let the showdown begin. My protective shield. What have you done? I'll destroy all of you for this. Uh oh. Have to summon the bear. See, this is what I like about the ESO combat system is that even when you use skills, you can move around to evade the attacks of the boss or of any enemy for that matter. Is he dead? Azura, we've dealt with the false Nerevarine just as you commanded. That was harder than I expected. Chodala was so angry, so full of rage, not like himself at all. Still, I can't believe I helped kill my own brother. We did what was necessary. I know that. It was either Chodala or the lives of hundreds of Dunmer, all because he convinced himself he was the Nerevarian, or someone convinced him. Either way, my brother is dead, and the cavern of the Incarnate has another resident. We should return to Vivek City. Take Sunara, and I'll meet you back in Vivek City. Your arch cannon made it quite clear that the staff was the key to saving Vivek. I need to take care of my brother's remains. Then we'll be done here. Poor Serene. I feel bad for her because... She lost a family member, even though that family member became evil. I'm sure there was some sort of connection before all of this happened. And she was even shunned by the Arch Cannon, who told us that she would double cross us. Now let's go back to Vivek. Not sure if there were ashes here before or what, but will the Red Mountain explode? Red Mountain's particularly active today. Who you 
yourself together. You're a buoyant armager for the deck's sake. Oh no. What happened? <gasps> He's lying down now! Oh, this is terrible. Lord Vivek collapsed. Tell me, Outlander, were you able to defeat Chodala? Have you brought me a staff? I'm afraid Lord Vivek may not last much longer. We defeated Chodala and brought back Sunara. And just in time. According to my calculations, with every use of Sunara, Chodala drained more energy from Lord Vivek. It almost killed him. We can use this staff to save Vivek. Just plant it in the floor, and the power will return to him. I'll plant sooner on the floor and return Vivek's power to him. It's working just as I expected. Okay, why is that emitting some sort of green aura? Doesn't what that mean doing? it's evil? It's killing him! What did you expect? That's the point of all this, after all. <gasps> what I've the heck? The tonal inverter. Activate the wave. Wait. Oh gosh. Barbas, huh? Barbus was the devil that we saw behind Chodla. I knew something was wrong as soon as I approached the palace. I could feel it in my bones. I was on my way here when Azura showed me a vision. I saw Sunara killing Vivek. Even without Chodala, that damn staff is dangerous. The Arch Cannon seemed to know that Sunara wasn't going to help Lord Vivek. I don't think that thing was ever the Arch Cannon. It called itself Barbus. As an Ashlander, I'm more familiar with Daedric lore than most of the elves of the Great Houses. Beyond that, I've made a study of the most prominent Daedric princes. Why are the Daedra relevant to all this? Because Barbus is a loyal servant of the Daedric Prince, Clavicus Vile. I'm not an expert on the Prince of Bargains, but it seems to me that this was all part of some grand plan. Perhaps Vivek can explain things better than I can. But he's dead! Zura's champion is correct. That was Barbus, faithful hound of Clavicus Vile, a shapeshifter. He killed the Arch Cannon, took his place. Chodala sought the seal's device, impersonating Tarvus. It was all part of some elaborate plan. Wait, I don't understand why Vivek wasn't able to see that when he still had some of his strength, and now he's seeing it when he's quote unquote dead? Plan, they tried to kill you. That was simply a consequence. We needed tribunal energy to locate the Clockwork City. I was the easiest target. If Barbus enters Sotha Seal City, disaster will follow. I appreciate your help, but I must conserve what remains of my energy. Darn! What happened here? Where's the Arch Cannon? Oh, by the three, Lord Vivek looks terrible. Where's Arch Cannon Tarvus? He always seems to know what to do in situations like this. The Arch Cannon is really Barbus. He tricked us all, and now Vivek's energy is nearly depleted. Barbus? The Daedric Hound? Wait, wait, I, I don't understand any of this. But if Lord Vivek's energy has been depleted, then the moonlit. Red Mountain. My. Gods! All of Vardenfell is in danger! There must be something we can do. If only there was a way to give Lord Vivek some energy. Wait! That's it! A blessing stone! Find the Overseer and retrieve another stone from the construction site. 
Oh, please, hurry. I've never seen Lord Vivek in such a desperate state. There's another blessing stone in the site? 